We will discuss a method to assess student learning in a quick, simple, and fun way. It is called Three Facts and a Fib. When first beginning to use this assessment technique, the teacher posts four statements about his or herself such as, I have taught for over 10 years. I have two children. My favorite subject to teach is math, and my favorite city to visit is Chicago. Students then write on their whiteboards which statement they believe to be the fib. The class then compares and discusses the results, and the teacher tells who is correct with their fib prediction. Next, students do the same thing about themselves, then meet in groups to try to figure out each person's fib and in the process get better acquainted. After the students understand the concept, the teacher may use this technique to evaluate characters from stories the students have read. The teacher should encourage the students to go beyond how they may behave or look to find deeper characteristics such as motivation and comparison to others. Also, students may be asked to give three facts in a fib regarding a nonfiction or informational piece or unit of study. The teacher should model examples to encourage students to reflect on higher level thinking. For example, after reading the biography of whomever, write three facts and a fib about them, including aspects of their character as well as physical attributes. Students will demonstrate their learning with the items they select for their facts and fib. The teacher will be able to assess their learning and, as the students share their work, they will learn from one another. Some ways to work with this technique could be students may share their work in a small group, students may walk around, may, students may post their work and then walk around the room to read one another's, and after you have shared the information, ask if anyone stumped their classmates. Students will demonstrate their learning with the statements they create for their facts and fibs. The teacher will be able to assess their learning. As students share their work, they will also learn from one another. Thank you for your time. I hope this has been helpful. Please contact me or your area data and assessment specialist for more information.